Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths Beta Slash Alpha Test 3.4.7. Yes, there is a new separate alpha test branch now because the From the Depths developers are testing so many different things that they need more testing areas for them. And so here we have a Wii ship that I knocked together uh, reasonably quickly to demonstrate some new things, but we are going to have it shoot. Uh, at a marauder, uh, just while we're sitting here uh, reading our patch notes. So, guns go bang. Whee! Okay, so what is new here? What's up, Depthians? This update focuses on further physics fixes, quality of life improvements, and polishing the recent changes. So... Uh, Steam Crank Wheel Connections. In the previous update, a new feature was added that some people might have missed. Pressing Q when you look at a Steam Crank Wheel brings up a menu that allows them to connect to other Steam Crank Wheels. What does this mean? So, this is something that had completely passed me by. Uh, so here we have a Steam Engine, and let's delete this so the guns stop talking. Uh, this is the wheel that we're talking about, so... What this is, is a means of connecting uh, steam shafts perpendicular to each other. So here we have a shaft, here we have another shaft. We could do that before uh, with shifting gears, like I could replace this no problem. Um, but this allows uh, you to uh, connect multiple uh, shafts together. Like for instance, if I wanted to stick another medium transmission uh, over here for instance, I could do that and you can connect them at right angles and also uh, from some distance to each other. So I could go over here, for instance, and connect, and look at that. It's connected right here. And now it isn't. Um, it is possible to merge gear lines, uh, gearbox lines, for redundancy. Split a line so multiple propellers and drills can be attached to it. Merge the power of multiple transmissions and crank motors. Flip the orientation of a crank or a combination of the above. So, if I do this, and I do this, and if I do this, oh, look at that! Now we have a shaft that's going in the other direction. Very handy. So now steam is going to be... Uh, it's getting more viable every update, really. Everything that changes it. That sounds obvious. Okay, so, to make complex systems more practical, uh, let's just look at this, uh, the steam engine right here. To make complex uh, systems more practical, transmission and crank uh, wheel kinetic penalties were reduced. Many people felt that cranks are not worth the trouble over just plop plopping down crank motors. Uh, this should help, and crank motor output was also slightly reduced. They're still denser than simple propulsion and can be linked now. Keep in mind that in the next update, wheels will need empty space between them for a connection to be possible, so no belts through solid blocks. Uh, that's part of why wheels got a pretty big durability increase. Uh, related changes and fixes. Transmission kinetic loss reduced to 50%. Transmission max energy uh, per second was also doubled when crank wheel connections were added. Missing from the notes there. Crank wheel kinetic loss reduced to 25%. Crank wheel kinetic energy storage reduced to times 2 shaft for small, to times 3 sh uh, shaft for medium and large. Times one, times one, times one, medium wheel has the same max and kinetic energy as shafts. Crank motor kinetic energy slash power down from 0 0.65 to 0 0.6. Steam wheels cannot connect to wheels already taken by other shafts spinning in the opposite direction. Propellers slash drills connected to multiple crank uh, motors broadcast their output requests to all motors now. And bug fix, steam wheels placed in prefabs properly uh, wipe their connection and ID now. So you don't get duplicate IDs of the things. Okay, so there's that. And now, there's another handy thing, and that is custom control surfaces, which have been improved. Custom rudders and custom control surfaces. Another important change that might have slipped under the radar. Custom rudders are useful strong now. Uh, custom control surfaces also saw improvements, so... In case you're wondering what that is, you go to the air, sir, air, you go custom control surfaces and you can do uh, wacky and interesting things over there. Custom rudders can be found right here and there's fun wacky things uh, you can do over there. So, adding hydrofoil beams and making hydrofoil 
Uh, Hydrofoil's more durable was also a common request, so the mostly decorative custom rudders were fixed up to be better hydrofoils. They are much more durable, much more compact, and have a much lower impact on game performance since every continuous plate only calculates its total force. Hydrofoils are kept and were slightly buffed so they can be used when something with a very fast reaction time is needed. Simple rudders are kept as an easy to use, newbie friendly solution where you just plot one down and it'll make anything turn without too much hassle. So in other words, if you want uh, custom hydrofoils, this is where you go. Uh, you use this kind of thing because ideally, let's see if this works actually. Uh, I've got some uh, hydrofoils uh, in here uh, doing spiffy work. Okay, that's annoying. You stop moving for a second. I want to see if this works. So over here, let us stick a custom hydrofoil right here. And push down, let's see. And pitch up. Let's see. Actually, let's set that to roll, roll, right. And we'll set this one to roll. We'll set this one to roll left. And see what happens. And that looks like it's doing something. I think this has a fair amount of drag, though, which is uh, less than ideal. Okay, so, uh, damn it, why does this keep happening? I want to do this. Okay, so, what we're seeing here is that uh, sticking this on the outside of the craft does slow things down, although they do function as hydrofalls, which is quite nice. Okay. Now, that was a horrible idea, so... Actually, nah. Let's keep it like that. Why not? Why not? We're having fun here. Right, so... What else? What else? What else? Okay, custom control surface changes fixes. Custom pivots. Uh, automatically set up the control axis, uh, like jets, slash ions, slash hydrofoils. Custom pivots got an option for switching output, output on reverse. Uh, mirror versions added for two to four custom rudder and custom control surface parts. So... Here you see here, where is it, reverse angle when going backwards, axis offset, etc, etc. Alright, so now we're back up to speed uh, again. I was worried that we were too slow. And this is considerably less uh, roll potential than what I had before, but then again what I had was really strong. Okay, so, and collisions. Collisions were very, very unpredictable. And had some problems. A tiny fast fast vehicle slamming into a station, a huge one, had the same collision energy as the opposite case. Uh, how many collisions are registered in a given amount of time isn't predictable, so total damage done had some very wild swings. Overall collision damage could easily be off by something like roughly five orders of magnitude. That sounds like something we should uh, spawn a marauder in, uh, just to keep things interesting. And okay, another problem is that melee weapons in general were useless uh, or forgotten about. Spinning rounds were virtually free with damage so high they evaporated anything they touched. Overall sentiment for spinning rams after the update was that they were that they are on the weaker side, I remember that. So they got a minor numerical and a significant indirect buff. Keep in mind that drill systems are in general harder to place and you <coughs> excuse me are in general harder to place and use, and spin blocks cause lots of performance slash overlap headaches, so spinning rams are supposed to be usable but slightly weaker than steam and simple drills. Ramming with fixed rams is stronger now for most heavy vehicles, so if you want to actually use rams to maximum effectiveness, you should, you know, ram things and not just um, uh, drop a blender on them. <sighs> Excuse me, my throat's weird. Collision changes. Basic collisions without rams now also use the same kinetic energy system, which is stronger than before. Ram and basic uh, collision uh, armor penetration up from 5 to 10. Kinetic damage stored is up by 33%. Kinetic damage regen up by roughly 10%. So, uh, spinny rams are slightly better uh, than they were. Uh, 
I was distracted by things blowing up. Uh, kinetic energy for main constructs up by roughly 11%. Simple and steam drill parts have a 0.4 drag modifier from the front with no clearance requirement. 1 times 1 times 1 simple drill bits and non wide steam drill heads have a 0.2 drag modifier uh, from the front. So they have less drag, I think? Okay, propellers. Let's look at propeller. Let's actually look at the hole that the marauders uh, put in us. Ouch. Alright, so let's just uh, stick a propeller right here. And let's go like... Whoops. Oh, look, the marauder disintegrated. Uh, let's go here. Do we have propeller? Hello. Absolutely no reason. We're just here to, uh... Why is that in reverse? Uh, no, thank you. There we go. That's better. It goes spin, spin, spin. Let's look at the spinny thing uh, while we're talking. Uh, propellers made their rules a bit more lenient, so it's possible to have no efficiency reductions and aesthetics aren't penalized. Above uh, 60 to 70% clearance, they are generally the cheapest propulsion by far, so this is mostly a quality of life, how they feel change. Also made it a bit easier to control pitch and roll with them. Propeller changes slash fixes are propeller hubs now only start losing efficiency below 90% clearance. Uh, time for propellers to fully spin up reduced by 30%. Trusses now count as ducts for the purpose of blocking propulsion from every side. Power scale for propellers doesn't reduce max rotation speed, only power use and thrust output, just a visual change. Uh, propeller hubs not supported from either the top or bottom are now properly destroyed, even if the ends of some blades are touching other blocks. Fixed power draw for some propeller setups uh, with zero clearance. Often propeller blocks, uh, often propeller blades do not disconnect when connection rules are off and improved clearance checks. So they're just generally better now. And now let's talk about physics. How fast are we going, by the way? Not actually that much faster. So uh, let us delete this thing because it is uh, making me say, there we go, it fell off. It fell off, it did. Uh, no, guys. Uh, no, 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 that's wrong. No, what are you doing? Stop it. No! <laughs> no, that's wrong! <laughs> no! <laughs> We've found a bug! We've found a bug! Also, I think my game just cracked. No, okay. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Okay, that was weird. We found weird bugs, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, physics. Let's talk about physics and let's shoot another marauder uh, while we talk about physics because that's fun. Let's look at you from this angle now so we can see what gets blown up. Okay, weeded out some other ways forces could run away and cause ludicrous speed slash teleporting slash jumping. Physics changes and fixes. Added extra sanity checks for each wing and sail force upward. Prevents a speed feedback loop with very low drag spin block vehicles. Uh, light blocks have a 0.1 drag, which is half of wedges, which prevents physics problems with zero drag spin block vehicles. Uh, Sub-construct uh, sub main blocks uh, directly on the main construct add one block worth of drag on the main construct. So, okay, main blocks right now. Okay, I didn't fully understand that. Non-structural slash plate blocks with weight uh, less than one uh, now have a weight of three. What? Let's see that. That's weird. Huh. Not sure what that's meaning. Uh, precision spin block speed in relation to angle mode is limited by mass of the construct, like the turrets, but more lenient. Small spinners with single propulsion blocks are roughly 350 to 600 uh, degrees per second. Big jumps of armor are 100 degrees uh, per second. So. Alright, so spin block speed is limited by how heavy they are. That makes sense. Uh, quality of life slash misc changes. EMP and impact debug tools got the same right-click UI explosive. Uh, explosive one has. Let's test that right now. So if I go EMP or impact, 
I go here, impact damage, let's set that to that armor piercing of Mac. Actually, let's do half that. And let's see if we can disintegrate the Marauder in one shot. Yes, I can. We're gonna need another Marauder. Pronto. There we go. Problem fixed. Uh, Alright. Uh, piston max extension rate up from 2 meters per second to 6 meters per second. So pistons are faster. Effective speed limit uh, for wings on powered uh, spinners is increased based on power use. Uh, relatively weak only for novelty use. Effective speed limit is increased based on power use. Oh, interesting. Speed limit. I think that means you can use wings to uh, act as propulsion again, but you do need to power the spin block. Let's test that. Let's test that right now, because we can do that thing. And let's go here, and go here. and don't do to this, where is it? Okay. So if we do this, and resting rate is that, uh, that does nothing. Uh, but if I go that, aha, hello, hello. That did something. <laughs> oh, that's very silly. Oh, that's very silly. I like it. <laughs> so, once again, you can make a giant uh, propeller things <laughs> with wings. Uh, which I wasn't too bummed about that being ruled out of the game entirely, but... Um, yeah, you do. It does require power now. So let's see here. It's not free power like it used to be. How much power is this using? It's using roughly 2,000 power to do somewhere between a bugger and all. So let's get rid of that because that is very unnecessary. Uh, this thing is doing just fine on its own. Uh, connected serial pistons on separate crankshafts now share their stat systems when only one has a boiler connection. Crank gearboxes now can't get stuck in their old priority uh, when it's changed from their UI. Flak base damage up from 80% to 90% of HE makes it slightly more attractive compared to Kinetic Seaward. So Flak got a buff again. Lo and behold, we're out of Marauders. Let us have more Marauders. Whee! Okay, uh, where were we? Alright, simple rudders also work upside down. Neat! Uh, propeller hub mesh can now be hidden. Propeller mesh handling is faster. Ooh. Uh, hydrofoil mesh can now be hidden. Oh, hello. Presumably that is to do with decorations. And now the full change log. So I'm gonna repeat myself a little bit, so uh, bear with me. And we just get to listen to the soothing sounds of gunfire and Watch as uh, my uh, silly ship uh, gets holes poked in it. Alrighty. Uh, APS. Flak base damage up from 80% to 90% for HE. Makes it slightly more attractive connect, uh, compared to Kinetic Seawiz. Uh, we knew that. Collisions. Basic collisions without rams. Now also use the same kinetic energy system. Stronger than before. Kinetic energy for main constructs up by 11%. Ram and basic collision. Armor penetration up from 5 till 10 uh, 210. Kinetic damage stored is up by 33%. Kinetic damage regen up by roughly 10%. Spinning rams also use the appropriate fraction of energy from the main construct on contact. On top of that, they use 5% of the remaining energy from the spinner for each ram and hit. Custom control services. Custom control services and custom pivots automatically set up their control axis like jets, ions, hydrofoils, etc. Custom pivots. Got an option for switching output on reverse. We've already said that. Uh, decoration. Hydrofoil mesh can now be hidden, and propeller hub mesh can now be hidden. We are really taking a beating right now. Uh, drills. Simple and steam drill parts have a 0.4 drag modifier from the front with no clearance requirement. 1x1x1 uh, simple drill bits and non-wide steam drill bits have a 0.2 drag modifier from the front. Pistons. Piston max, max extension rate up from 2 meters per second uh, to 6 meters per second. Okay, we knew that already. Propellers. Power scale for propellers doesn't reduce Max's uh, rotation speed, only power use and thrust output. Propeller hubs now only start losing efficiency below 90% clearance. And time for propellers to fully spin up reduced by 30%. We said that before. 
Uh, simple rudder, then work upside down now. Spinners, precision spin block speed and rotation to angle mode is limited by the mass of the construct. Like for turrets, but more lenient. Small spinners with a single propulsion block are 350 to 600 uh, degrees per second. Big chunks of armor is roughly 100 degrees per second. We appear to have sunk. Which means the marauders can no longer hit us, which means we are invincible. Uh, steam. Uh, crank motor kinetic energy slash power down from 0 0.65 to 0 0.6. Uh, crank wheel kinetic energy storage reduced to times 2 shaft for small, times 3 shaft for medium and large. Uh, 1 times 1 times 1 medium wheel has the same max kinetic energy as shafts. This sounds familiar. Crank wheel kinetic loss reduced to 25%. We're underwater. Transmission kinetic loss reduced to 50%. Transmission max energy per second was also doubled when crank wheel connections were added. Missing from the notes there. Trusses. Trusses now count as ducts for the purpose of blocking propulsion from every side. UI. EMP and, and uh, impact debug tools got the same right click UI explosive one has. Uh, shall we disintegrate a marauder again? Because that's hilarious. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. So if I do that, if I disintegrate you, yay! And if I disintegrate you, yay! And if I disintegrate you, yay! I've saved me boat. And repair all. Thank you, very please. Uh, you may arise from the depths now. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Uh, wings! Effective speed limit for wings on powered spinners is increased based on power use. Relatively weak, only for novelty use. Roger that. And there's a whole bunch of fixes, which I should probably read out. You know what? For once, I'm going to read out the fixes. But first, we'll shoot at an atlas. There we go. Uh, fixes! Custom control surfaces. Mirror versions added for 2-4 to four meter blocks. Physics, added extra sanity checks for wing and sail force output, prevents a special speed feedback loop with very low drag, spin block vehicles. Light blocks have 0.1 drag, which is half of wedges, prevents physics problems with zero drag, spin block vehicles. Non-structural slash plate blocks with weight. Oh, below one? Greater than one? Look below one, now have a weight of three? I'm very confused. Um, oh, it's non-structural, Dur. Uh, okay, sub, sub sub construct and main blocks directly onto the main construct. Add one block worth of drag onto the main construct. Propellers, fixed power draw for some propeller setups with zero clearance. Improved clearance jacks. Often propeller blades do not disconnect when the connection rules are off. Propeller hubs, not supported from either the top or bottom, are now properly destroyed. Even if the ends of some blades are touching other blocks, so we've already seen that. Let's uh, look more at the more atlas. Uh, steam connected serial pistons on what the hell? Uh, connected serial pistons on separate crankshafts now share their stat systems when only one has a boiler connection. Crank gearboxes now can't get stuck in their old priority when it is changed from the UI. And steam connections, uh, bug fix, steam wheels placed in prefabs properly wipe their connection and ID now. Propeller slash drills connected to multiple crank motors broadcast their output requests to all motors now. And steam crank connections. Steam wheels can, uh, cannot connect to wheel already taken by other shafts spinning in the opposite direction. So that's basically all the patch notes. So if nothing else, uh, propellers are improved, custom control surfaces are improved, and flak is better than it was uh, once again. And just generally uh, controlling your craft is uh, more fun. It is nice that the spin block uh, wing uh, propulsion is still a thing, I guess. It means I can potentially make uh things like that still and just run it off an rtg or something so that's nice and fun so that's basically it uh for this patch note it's uh like full of uh, not incredibly amazing stuff it's not like brand new stuff but it's just tweaking uh, what's been recently added and making it better which is nice and i think it's nice and that's about it for now so thank you all so much for watching Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. Thank you to the devs for continuing to update this wonderful game. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. The Alpha Branch or Beta Branch. All the branches of a tree. You never know what will happen next. Farewell.